Hi everybody, this is Sharon, the Night Owl Scrapper, and today I wanted to share with you a mini album that I just completed. It is an album that has taken me a little while to complete, um, as you have heard in most of my previous videos, but um, it's finally done and I'm really happy how it came out. And it is another baby mini album, and it is using the AccuCut um, die, the bib die. And I want to thank Bona because um, I was able to purchase the chipboard pieces from her because I do not own the die. Um, I unfortunately don't own the grand marks either. Um, but um, hopefully one day in the future I'll be able to own it. Um, but the dies that I do have for the AccuCut, I'm only able to use them either at a friend's house or at my local scrap store. So. For now, I'm just keeping my little list of all the AccuCut dies that I want to purchase in the future, I guess. And hopefully one day I'll be able to own the machine as well. But for now, um, I'm able to do certain things, and this is one of them. So thank you, Vona, for letting me purchase that die, I mean, chipboard pieces. And without further ado, here it is. There's my mini. It's another baby mini, so this is my second baby mini that I complete. And the reason why I did another one is because I have tons and tons and tons of baby pictures of my daughter. And that last baby mini that I did, I guess I didn't... I don't know, I wanted to have more pictures and more minis. And I guess, you know, you're only a baby once, so if I could make 500 minis, I will. I really wanted to make it, and as soon as I saw the die... I said I have to have some of those die cuts because I had things going on in my head for it. So um, this is what the book looks like standing up. It's a little chunky, um, but um, I really, really liked it. So let's get to it. This is the front cover of the mini. And um, as you can see here, it has a lot of dimension. And there's a lot of things going on in here. But first of all, let me go to the binding. What I did was I took one, an, I think it's a one inch um, ring and also extra large eyelets on each of the pages. And I'm going to hold right here. This is the binding on the side. I put some seam binding over here and then a little charm right here that coordinates with the papers. I bought the um, watercolor bouquet from EK Success and that's what I used for this mini. And in the front here you could see over here a Sizzix frame die um, which was uh, featured in one of my hauls. And I used a chipboard piece that I received from a rack from Damaris. Hi Damaris! And um, it was already this color and it matched perfectly the collection but what I did to it I added some stickles to um, make it glitter have a little bit of shimmer um, because the die cuts that I used over here from the collection some of them had um, a little bit of glitter on them so I thought it would be perfect I used some of the die, 3D die cut stickers from the collection some Prima pearls and then some um, Studio 24 bling this is from Joann's and I'm going to have pictures at the end of this video and then um, more details on my blog at smscrapperdesigns.blogspot.com So um, I titled this mini in the moment because um, what I did was I took again pictures of my baby girl that's her this is probably the first one of the first pictures um, from after we got home I think that's the first day when we got home after she had her first um, change. So um, I used some acrylic paint for the edge and it is uh, from Making Memories. It is this color over here. Let me get it for you. It's called Shopping Bag and it matched the collection nicely. And I also used um, more of the die cuts up here. 
So that's the first page. I also, um, I forgot to tell you, I used some of the I Am Roses that I received from Rena. Hi Rena, thank you. And also some Recollections flowers over here. And this one is from I Am Roses, this little, little tiny one. So that's the front. And then let me put it down. It opens like this. And this is the first page over here. And I did a pocket on this side. I used some of the Prima trim, uh, most commonly known here on YouTube as the Frog Feathers trim. This is from Rena. Um, I received it in a rack. I used uh, Michael's um, felt piece. It's a bird. I used my Nestabilities labels. I believe is labels 18. And I used a stamp from a Heidi Grace baby stamp that I just um, got a few weeks back. I got some seam binding here closing the pocket. And this is how it opens. Right over here. It opens like this and it flips up and there is a stamped sentiment over here some of the edge borders border stickers I yeah border stickers that's what they're called from the collection and then a stamp of a journaling stamp so I can journal in here and then it flips open again and again more journaling space and then another border from the collection you're going to see more details of this in the pictures. And then there's a tag in here. Let me get it from here. And there's um, pictures on both sides and also some journaling. Like for example, this picture right here is a picture of my boxer, my dog. She's um, a girl. Her name is Coco. And this was actually the pictures that I took for her baby announcement. Um, I took the pictures, and this was one of the pictures that was, was that was on her announcement. It's the dog looking at her. It was love at first sight, so that's what I put there. And then this was the other picture that was on her birth annou announcement. So, um, that goes right here. And this mini... Oh, I can't find the hole right here. This mini has a lot of interactive pages. I really like doing that in my minis. This is a picture of her hands right here. This was the first week that I was alone with her in my house. That's the first day. That was probably, she was probably, I would believe, like six or seven days old when that was. And then there's another pocket in here with another picture and some room for journaling. I already started journaling. And then another tag in the bottom with more pictures and more journaling. So that's this page and it closes again like this and then you just tie the seam binding. So this is what keeps the pocket close. And then on the other side, as you can see over here, is a lace pocket and I crammed a lot of pictures in this mini, and there's still more pictures and journaling that could fit in this mini, but um, I didn't want to overload it. So again, this lace, I got it from Joann's. This is some more of the Frog's Feathers trim. This is some Recollections, those, um, I guess they're acrylic um, roses. And then in the pocket, I have a Maya Road envelope. I decorated using the borders from the collection and in here I have two tags with more pictures and journaling and let me show you this picture. This picture is when she started watching YouTube videos with me and that was probably her second month if I'm not mistaken and that's her right there. The computer's right here because I have it in my laptop. We're in my bed and that's me. So I thought that was cute and then it closes up like this again and then you stick that, that back in there. Oops, I'll just pick it up later. I have some tags in here with just pictures and room for journaling. I use the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays from the Drink Me Silly collection on all the tags, all of them, and all the colors as well. So that's that. 
There's another picture of my dog and the baby. She was like her guardian from the start. And that's me and her. And that's my dad and her. That's the first time he met her. Another picture and journaling. And that's her and her dad. So there's a lot, a lot of room for journaling and for pictures in this album. So just for my sanity, I'm going to put everything back. And this might be a long video, girls, maybe a two-parter, I'm not sure. But I'll try to go as fast as I can. So then the next page is another interactive page. Let's put it up close like this. And it's using um, some of the stickers, 3D stickers from the collection and um, some trim from the collection. And this has a magnet right here and it opens like this. And there's more pictures and journaling and stamps from the collection. And these are some more of the Michaels felt and some stickers. Um, I think these are from Doodlebug. And then this is some recollection bling. And that closes up like that with a magnet. And then on this page I just have the Nestabilities Labels die again. And that's me and the baby when she was five months. And there's some of the butterflies, the fabric butterflies from the collection and more of the 3D stickers. And this sticker um, was from a rack that I received from Carol Ann, Logan's Crafty Mama. Hi Carol Ann! Then the next page over here, we have this, one of my favorite things to add on minis, which is, I think it's called a waterfall pocket, I'm not sure. Um, I might be wrong on that. But um, I used some uh, stickers, 3D chipboard stickers with glitter that I got from Michaels. And I used some of my ribbon for my stash. This I also got from Michaels. This I think is this celebrate ribbon and then I use one of those uh, another one of those acrylic flowers and then it's held back with velcro and you just open it like this and this is um, borders from the collection that I used to decorate and then it opens up like that and there are more pictures and more spaces for, for journaling in here so there really is a lot of space in this album. Look at the dog in this look at this in that picture. I just love that boxer. She's just the sweetest dog. Always next to her. Always. Till this day. And it closes back up like that with the Velcro right there. Then on this side, it's just a frame of the labels die. This was her when she was eight months some border stickers 3D I um, put it on foam tape then I got some pearls that I got from Carla 001 hi Carla and also another one of those butterfly fabric butterflies from the collection then let's go to the next page this is a pocket I made using the paper right here from the collection and also some trim from the collection right there and then another one of the stickers from the collection and then more tags for journaling and look they're buddies that's when um, their daddy was coming home from work so the dog usually goes by the door when I don't know dogs have a six I don't know what it is they have an instinct and they know he she knows when he's gonna about to get home I don't know what it is he hears the car I don't know what it is with her but um as soon as she ran to the door, she would run to. So um, I just thought this was so cute. So they were watching him coming in. And then that's them again. And look at her holding the dog's hand. They love each other, those two. So um, there's another tag with more pictures and journaling and another tag right there. I'm not going to take those out. Then on this side is a... I guess a flip pocket. I don't know what you call it. I've seen it in some other albums, but I just made it from scratch. I mean, you know, how I thought it was made. I didn't watch any tutorials. I just kind of put it together myself. And what I did here the, for the closure, I took a We Are Memory Creepers Gromlet 
that says um, a door. I'm going to bring it up close. And then some of the designer paper. And I made one of those little closures, like the Maya Road envelope. I just figured it out myself and did it. And then um, I took some more of those glitter stickers right here, the 3D chipboard stickers from Michaels, and then some of that Maya Road small small rosette trim right here and then some of the more borders from the collection stickers right there and then this opens up like this and there's a lot of pictures I mean a lot of room for pictures like this here it could be a picture or some journaling here is a sentiment stamp and then border from the collection open up like this again and then there's another room for pictures or journaling right here then it opens up like this and it opens up like Oh, I have no nails because <laughs> I cut them all off so I could barely open it so there you go so it opens up like that there's borders from the collection and then that's just pictures that I put there that was November last year and that's just her we were shopping and it was really cold and then that's her at the park so closes up like that and you just take the ribbon, which is the same ribbon that I used on the other page, and you just wrap it around like this, and it stays nice and secure in there. The next page is um, this page, and I used two little paper bags from Michaels to make these two pockets. The chipboard piece that was left from that frame that I did in the cover was this one I put more stickles on it and I put one of the layered stickers on the top then some more of that trim that matches the collection and then two tags in here with pictures and journaling that's the picture when she turned one that first picture and that's her again I love that picture that's kinda of the first time that I we ever put bows in her hair so cute so that was that then over here well, this I just made it up. I don't know. I was just trying to figure something out. But this is a frame from Sizzix um, that I cut out, cut out with my cuddle bug. It's made out of chipboard and the design paper. And then the piece that came out of it, I took it and put some um, eyelets in here, put some, added some ribbon, glued it to the back of the frame, and then made this flip thing. Let me put it up close so you can understand what I'm saying. See? So it's it's held on with the ribbon. Then I used some of this um, trim that I got from Twins Moms. That's Esmeralda here on YouTube. Hi, Esmeralda! And I used some of the borders from the collection and one of those thick um, 3D stickers from the collection. I stamped and embossed. Um, this sentiment it's at practically perfect in every way then when you flip this open there's trim from the collection there is a sticker 3d sticker from the collection that says I will love you forever and then there's two pictures of um, my family and there's um, her and the dog and look at the look at this you see her holding the dog's hand I just thought that was the most beautiful thing ever and she you wouldn't make her do it she just did it by herself and th those were our Christmas pictures that's the dog that's her they're like best buds so um now on top of it all not only did I did that but I made like a secret pocket in this page and it's like this I'm gonna put a secret message for her and then it flips over like that and then I could fill it with the journaling that I want and I stamped something that says babies fill a hole in your heart you you never knew you ex you never knew existed that's it so that's it that is my mini so I hope you enjoyed it um, I really had a lot of fun making it all I have to do is do the journaling and the places that I haven't done um, but I really had a lot of fun and I really li like this AccuCut die so hopefully one day I'm able to have the machine in my house for me to play and I could go ahead and let my imagination go. 
But for now, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate all your comments and um, stay tuned. There's pictures coming at the end of this video. And also you can find more pictures in my blog, smscrapperdesigns.blogspot.com.